There are two types of beginners when it comes to the tetras routine. Those who exercise or have exercised but have never tried the tetras, and those who are just starting their exercise journey. My previous attempt at creating a beginner's tetras was not good for either type of novice. I was myopic in my method of creating this workout because I assumed the routine I'd enjoy would be fitting for anyone. Considering the myriad of existing exercise programs out there, a new plan needs to be simple and accessible for someone to pick up and try out easily. What I created ended up being convoluted and ultimately overcomplicated for someone who wants to try the system out for the very first time. In making Tetras routines for others, which I've been doing more frequently as of late to raise money on Patreon for the authorship of a book I'm writing, I've come to realize exactly where I was wrong and hopefully how I could fix it. So first, let's go back to the original video so I can point out what led me down the wrong path, and then I'll talk about my new method that I find ameliorates the appeal to newcomers. Let's start off with naming the four basic categories of exercise. We've got cardio, which includes road work, cycling, high intensity interval training, and stairs, steps, and so forth. Next, we have ebaskesis in Greek, which is strength and conditioning. So weights, resistance bands, calisthenics, or plyometrics. Then we have pakratiazin, which is martial arts techniques, footwork drills, shadow boxing, bag striking, sparring. And lastly, we have apotherapia, which is cool down and recovery. Meditation, breathing exercises, massage, stretching, cold hot showers, and so forth. Now, because this is going to be a beginner's workout, I will take cycling from cardio, resistance bands from epaskesis, shadow boxing from pakratiazin, and breathing exercises from apotherapia. This is precisely the point where I led myself astray. I felt that I had to include a section from each category to make a quote-unquote complete workout. But this wasn't the goal. The workout doesn't have to be complete, it has to be approachable, easy to understand and flexible enough to be incorporated into an existing workout. Those who want to try it out must be able to introduce it seamlessly to their daily routine and then, if they end up liking the concept, practice a complete workout solely based on the tetras. In other words, when approaching newcomers, less is more. So in order to appeal to both types of beginners, the ideal tetras would need to be substantial enough to constitute a complete newcomer's entire workout, but also still worthwhile enough for someone who's intermediate or advanced to add it to their existing routine. This way, I can approach all types of exercise enthusiasts at once, because I believe that anyone will find the tetras system beneficial, even if it's used only as a section of a contemporary workout. The elements it has within will provide benefits that are scarcely found in any other modern workout plans. But how can this be done? How can you make a workout routine that is substantial enough for a total beginner while also worthy to be a part of an exercise enthusiast schedule? The answer lies in training something that is generally neglected in most of today's workout routines. For example, take the core muscle group. Normally the core is tangentially exercised as part of other exercises, like for example with pull-ups or push-ups. However, the amount of core will be engaged in these motions depends on how they are executed. In order to engage the core optimally, a hollow body posture is required so as to statically contract all appropriate muscle groups. And let's be real, how many actually use the hollow body posture when performing pull-ups and push-ups, outside of perhaps calisthenic specialists? A simple workout that primarily deals with the core would therefore be beneficial to a huge amount of people that already exercise while still being substantial on its own for a complete newcomer. And it's not just the core that the supplementary tetras can adapt to. Grip strength, stretching, mobility, hips, cardio, and any other exercise routine you can think of that can be done on a daily basis would also make a great supplementary tetras one that will complement any existing workout while still providing a great starting point for those beginning their exercise journey. So what are the benefits of specifically adding the tetras to your existing routine instead of just doing a few more exercises for these muscle groups? Firstly, the tetras is an excellent way to introduce a progressive workout schedule that includes periodization. It will provide you with a workout cycle that is simple, addictive, easy to execute, and that can still be effective. It also gets you into the habit of allocating the proper time required for both warm-up and cool-down periods. It will also prompt you to introduce breathing exercises that are generally also neglected in most contemporary workout routines. These have documented benefits both for your physical and mental well-being. So now what will this supplementary tetras actually look like? 
Well, I'll tell you. But you can also see exactly what it consists of on my Patreon, where I'm releasing a video every week and detailing each and every step of the routine day by day. This also includes a 4 day meal plan based on the ancient Hellenic Mediterranean diet. But in general terms, here's what the optimized beginner's tetras will consist of. First, we have a proper, adequate warm-up that includes joint rotations, dynamic stretching, as well as massage for problematic areas that are injured or prone to injury. Depending on the workout, the warm-up should also include lighter versions of the primary exercise that are to be performed. Then, the first section of the main workout is also used as sort of a warm-up, in which there is a brief section meant for general wellness, which consists of light cardio exercises in either a circuit or high-intensity intervals. Exercises like jump rope, jumping jacks, or even a few rounds on the heavy bag. Afterwards, we move on to the primary exercises that are part of the theme of the tetras. These need to be scheduled in a flexible manner so you can perform them with different timing methods. So in sets, in a circuit, high intensity intervals, or even in rounds. The easiest way to program this section is by setting up the exercises for a progression. For example, Day 1 can be 1 exercise, that means that day 2 is 2 exercises, and day 3 is 3 exercises, and day 4 is 4 exercises, and after that you return to day 1 with 1 exercise. It's that simple. As long as there is a progression in intensity, then you're set. Even if you skip everything else and just do this, you can begin to understand how the cycle works and introduce all other elements relative to the tetras with time. One such crucial element is a proper cooldown period, which comes right after the primary workout. Leaving the workout feeling good is what will give you the motivation to want to exercise similarly the next day, and the day after that, ad infinitum. This cooldown period can include a relaxing walk, static stretching, and of course the appropriate breathing exercises like avlisis, which you can find more about here. In the end, all I can really suggest for the tetras is, give it a try. Throughout all the videos I've made for this channel, including this one, there is more than enough information for you to parse one out yourself if you don't want to join Patreon. Give it a try and see if it works for you. It can apply seamlessly to your existing workout and can lead you not only to making exercising a habit, but a potentially effective and enjoyable one at that. And if you do see yourself experiencing the beneficial aspects that I've mentioned are associated with the tetras, you can move on to convert your entire workout though keeping it a supplementary component of your existing workout that you're already used to works just fine. Either way, make sure to join the channel's Discord and let us know how it goes. Until then, cheers.